Hey guys, Scott from Fry Props here, and today we're going to be talking about cylinders. A uh, cylinder is a pneumatic component that allows you to create linear motion. Uh, essentially, it uses the power of air to extend and often to retract a cylinder rod. There's two important terms you're going to hear when talking about cylinders. One is stroke and the other is bore. Stroke refers to how far the cylinder rod extends. In this case, all three of the cylinders shown here have a three inch stroke. So the cylinder extends from zero to three inches at its full length. The second term you often hear is bore. Bore refers to the diameter of the cylinder. We have three different bore sizes here. This is a three quarter inch bore cylinder. This is a one and one sixteenth inch bore cylinder. And this is a one and a half inch bore cylinder. The larger the bore, the more pressure the cylinder can exert. Also, the larger bore a cylinder has, the thicker the rod of the cylinder will be. So in general, the more heavy duty your application is, the larger bore you want to use. I will also put a link in the description of this video to a document that shows you how to calculate the force that each bore size can produce, uh, which you can use to decide which cylinder is right for your particular application. The cylinders shown here are what are called double acting cylinders. You'll notice that they each have two air ports. That means that the force of air is used both to extend and to retract the cylinder rod. Air goes into the base port here to push the rod out, and air goes into the port nearest the nose of the cylinder to push the rod back in. These cylinders are also all universal mount cylinders. That means that they can be mounted at the nose and the tail. You'll notice that the 3 quarter inch bore and the 1 and 1 16th inch bore have threads both at the nose and at the tail. The 1 and 1 half inch bore cylinder has threads only at the nose and is not threaded at the rear of the cylinder. Here you can see the difference in bore sizes between the three cylinders we have here. Again, as the bore size increases, so does the force that the cylinder can exert. As the stroke of a cylinder increases, so does the overall length of the cylinder. These two cylinders are both 3 quarter inch bore cylinders, but the bottom one here is a 3 inch stroke, whereas the top one here is a 6 inch stroke. That means that the bottom one is shorter overall, but the rod only extends 3 inches. The top cylinder is longer, but the rod will extend twice as far. Although double acting universal mount cylinder is the most commonly used type of cylinder, they're certainly not the only type. We also offer single acting cylinders. A single acting cylinder has only one air port because it uses the force of an internal spring to return the cylinder rod back to its resting position once the air is cut off. So the force of air will extend the cylinder and then the spring will return it. You'll notice that this single acting cylinder is also a universal mount, so it can be mounted at the nose and the tail. We also offer reverse acting cylinders. A reverse acting cylinder is similar to a single acting cylinder, except that the cylinder rod is extended by default. The force of air brings the cylinder rod back in, and a spring returns it out. Although universal mount cylinders are the most versatile as far as mounting options, sometimes they're not ideal for every application. That's why we also offer cylinders that mount only at the nose. These are called nose mount cylinders. You'll see that this is still a double acting cylinder just like the one above it, but it has no threads on the end here. It has threads only at the nose and can only be mounted here. It has one air port in the same position as the double acting universal mount cylinder, and the other air port is located on the tail of the cylinder. Functionally, they're identical. They just offer different mounting opportunities. So depending on your application, you might find this beneficial. All Fry Prop cylinders are made of stainless steel, and we offer a range of bore sizes. Those shown here are just an example, but we also go up to much larger cylinders and much smaller to fit any application you might need. The three sizes shown here are the most common in the haunted house industry, which is what we primarily deal with. But if you need something special, just let us know and we'll see if we can find it for you. So that's a quick overview of pneumatic cylinders. We'll be putting a lot of links in the description of this video to different documents that can tell you how to uh, measure the overall size of your cylinder, um, 
what size ports your cylinder is going to have, uh, how to measure the force the cylinder can exert, and a bunch of other helpful information if you're new to pneumatics and cylinders. Of course, if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave them as a comment on this video or send us an email at sales at frightprops.com. Thanks!